Discover the beautiful cities of North Africa. Welcome to this explore and thanks for watching. In this video, we shall be taking you on a tour across the beautiful cities of North Africa. Africa is a large continent made up of 54 sovereign countries and each of these countries offer unique experiences for travelers. There are thousands of cities in Africa but in this video, we shall be shining the light on the most beautiful cities in North Africa. North Africa is a region encompassing the northern portion of the African continent. There are about 6 countries in North Africa and a total population of about 244 million people with each country boasting of its own beautiful cities. While not every country in this part of the continent can boast of having the most beautiful cities in Africa, there are however cities that really stand out and compete at the international scene. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Considering the fact that there are hundreds of cities in North Africa, we are going to focus on the most outstanding ones. So, in no particular order, here are the most beautiful cities in North Africa. Number 1. Cairo, Egypt Starting up our list is the mega city Cairo, which is the capital of Egypt and the largest city in the Arab world, the Middle East and the 15th largest in the world. The city covers a total surface area of about 606 square kilometers and a population of over 20 million people. Cairo is a city where the famous Giza Pyramid Complex and the ancient city of Memphis are located. Cairo has the oldest and largest film and music industries in the Arab world, as well as the world's second oldest institution of higher learning, Al Azhar University. Many international media, businesses and organizations have regional headquarters in the city. The Arab League has had its headquarters in Cairo for most of its existence. Cairo is host to the Egyptian airline Egypt Air and also a host to at least 14 industries in Egypt including Arab American vehicles, Arab organization for industrialization, etc. The nightlife in Cairo is one not to miss. When there, they have places like the Cairo Jazz Club, Sharazad Casino, Crimson Cairo, the cellar and the tap which brings Cairo alive at night. There is a part of Cairo known as Old Cairo. This area of Cairo is so named as it contains the remains of the ancient Roman fortress of Babylon and also overlaps the original site of Futstadt, the first Arab settlement in Egypt, 7th century AD, and the predecessor of later Cairo. The area includes the Coptic Cairo, which holds a high concentration of old Christian churches such as the Hanging Church, the Greek Orthodox Church of St. George, and the Christian or Coptic buildings, most of which are located over the site of the ancient Roman fortress. Number 2. Alexandria, Egypt Alexandria is the second largest city in Egypt and a major economic center. With a population of 5,200,000 people, Alexandria is the largest city on the Mediterranean, the sixth largest city in the Arab world and the ninth largest in Africa. Alexandria is a popular tourist destination and also an important industrial center because of its natural gas and oil pipelines from Suez and has a borderline hot desert climate. Pompey's Pillar, a Roman triumphal column, is one of the best known ancient monuments still standing in Alexandria today. It is located on Alexandria's ancient Acropolis Modest Hill located adjacent to the city's Arab cemetery and was originally part of a temple colonnade. Pompey's Pillar may have been erected using the same methods that were used to erect the ancient obelisk. The city is a great attraction to visitors worldwide as it offers a wide range of luxurious hotels and a fine cuisine. Number 3. Marrakech, Morocco Marrakech is the fourth largest city in the Kingdom of Morocco and is the capital of the mid-southwestern region of Marrakech Safi. It is located west of the foothills of the Atlas Mountains with a population of 928,850 people. Rabat Flight Network, a Canadian-based online travel company, has named Marrakech one of the top 50 most beautiful cities in the world. Marrakech and Cape Town are the only African cities on the list. The company selected Marrakech for its rich history, which is evident in the Oka city's beautiful old palaces, gardens and mosques. The city's Royal Mansour Hotel was voted the best in Africa and sixth in the world and two Marrakech Race 1 Trip Advisor Choice Awards in 2019. Football star Cristiano Ronaldo selected Marrakech for the site of his luxurious hotel. Set to open in 2020 after Howder Saad, a Moroccan singer, has already opened a hotel in the city. In addition to various conferences and summits, Marrakech also hosts major cultural events such as fashion shows, art exhibitions, film festivals and concerts. Marrakech is a favorite of celebrities from around the world who travel to the Oche city for vacations, weddings, honeymoons or music video shoots. As the city continues to develop, Marrakech will inevitably attract even more foreign visitors. Number 4. Tunis, Tunisia Tunis is the capital and largest city of Tunisia. 
the greater metropolitan area of Tunis, often referred to as Grand Tunis, has about 2,700,000 inhabitants, making it the third largest city in the Maghreb region, after Casablanca and Algiers, the 16th largest city in the Arab world. Situated on a large Mediterranean sea gulf, the Gulf of Tunis, behind the Lake of Tunis and the port of La Goulette, the city extends along the coastal plain and the hills that surround it. At its core lies the ancient Medina, a world heritage site. Tunis is a very busy city with clean streets, beautiful hotels, fascinating restaurants. The economic structure of Tunis as well as that of the country is overwhelmingly tertiary industry. The city is the largest financial center in the country, hosting the headquarters of 65% of financial companies while the industrial sectors are gradually declining in importance. However, the secondary industry is still very represented and Tunis hosts 85% of industrial establishments in the four governorates, with a trend towards the spread of specialized industrial zones in the suburbs. Tunis has some large parks, many of which were installed at the end of the 19th century by the authorities of the French protectorate. The largest park, Belvedere de Park, was founded in 1892 and overlooks Lake Tunis. It is the oldest public park in the country and is built in the landscape style common to France. There is also the Souk of Tunis. The Souks are a network of covered streets lined with shops and traders and artisans ordered by specialty. Clothing merchants, perfumers, fruit sellers, booksellers and wool merchants have goods at the Souks, while fishmongers, blacksmiths and potters tend to be relegated to the periphery of the markets. Number 5. Algiers, Algeria Algiers is the capital and largest city of Algeria. In 2011, the city's population was estimated to be around 3.5 million. An estimate puts the population of the larger metropolitan city to be around 5 million. Algiers is located on the Mediterranean Sea and is the north central portion of Algeria. Algiers is situated on the west side of a bay of the Mediterranean Sea. The modern part of the city is built on the level ground by the seashore. The old part, the ancient city of the days, climbs the steep hill behind the modern town and is crowned by the Kashban or citadel. 122 meters above the sea. The Kasbah and the two quays form a triangle. Algiers is an important economic, commercial and financial center with in particular a stock exchange with a capitalization of 60 million euros. The city has the highest cost of living of any city in North Africa as well as the 50th highest worldwide. As of March 2007, having gained one position compared to the previous year, some 20 kilometers to the west of Algiers are such seaside resorts as Sili Frech, Palm Beach, Doao Doao, Zerauda, and the Club of the Pines, residents of states. There are tourist complexes, Algerian and other restaurants, souvenir shops, supervised beaches, and other amenities. Algiers also boasts of landmarks such as Notre Dame d'Afrique, accessible by one cable car, being one of the city's most outstanding monuments. Located in the district of Zedwo Graha, the Basilia was built around 1858, an iconic concrete monument commemorating the Algerian War for Independence. The monument was opened in 1982 on the 20th anniversary of Algeria's independence. It is fashioned in the shape of three standing palm leaves which shelter the eternal flame beneath. At the edge of each palm leaf stands a statue of a soldier, each representing a stage of Algeria's struggle. Number 6. Casablanca, Morocco Casablanca is a port city and commercial hub in western Morocco, fronting the Atlantic Ocean. The city's French colonial legacy is seen in its downtown Moresque architecture, a blend of Moorish style and European art deco. Standing partly over the water, the enormous Hassan II Mosque, completed in 1993, has a 210 meters minaret topped with lasers directed towards Mecca. According to the 2014 population estimate, the city has a population of about 3.35 million. Casablanca is considered the economic and business center of Morocco, although the national political capital is Rabat. The Grand Casablanca region is considered the locomotive of the development of the Moroccan economy. It attracts 32% of the country's production units and 56% of industrial labor. The region uses 30% of the national electricity production and contributes 44% to the industrial production of the kingdom. About 33% of national industrial exports comes from Grand Casablanca and 30% of the Moroccan banking network is concentrated in Casablanca. There you have it, explorers. Those were some beautiful cities of North Africa. Did your city make the list? Did we miss out a city that was supposed to be on this list? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching this video. If you want us to cover any of your top 10 topics, leave your suggestions in the comments and we will do well to grant your request. Also, if you enjoyed this video, 
do well to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.